What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. I was going through my Facebook feed, you know, and the news uh, came up about a guy in Cleveland, Ohio, that's just killing people. He killed the old man. He told him to name, you know, to say this woman's name. And after he said this woman's name, he shot this old 70-year-old man in the head. And he, he claims to have killed 14 people so far, and the police are still looking for this man. Let me tell you something, you scumbag, piece of shit, rotten-ass motherfucker. I hope your ass burned in motherfucking hell for what you did. And taping it on Facebook, putting that shit on Facebook. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you're going to hear me say some things that I ain't said in a long time because I'm super pissed. And this, of all things, on Easter, there's people out here that just don't have no soul. They are just mentally fucked up in the head and they have no soul. I hope you rot your ass in hell I hope you fucking rot you scumbag piece of shit rotten ass motherfucker let me get that out the way before I read this article I'm super pissed because a black man is going around shooting people on fucking Easter and the cops still ain't find this dude yet <sighs> There's people out there that's beyond fucked up, beyond belief fucked up in the head. We need a stricter gun law in this country more than ever. I'm serious. They just had a school shooting that was happening uh, uh, almost a week ago, I think. They had another school shooting. And now here's a guy on Facebook Live shooting people. What is wrong with this fucking country? What is wrong with this country? Black people, are these people are just going around shooting people for no, this guy here shot an old man for no reason at all. I'm super pissed. I am so pissed off, people. I'm so pissed off. This guy is, I hope you rot in hell. I hope, Lord, please get this man. Oh, my God, take him out. Lord, please, wherever he's at, he's shooting people for no reason at all. He's shooting people. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a freaking aneurysm just, tr just talking about, just screaming out. I'm so pissed off. I'm so pissed off about this. Let me read this article here, y'all. Easter Day Slaughter, and this is on Fox News, y'all. Easter Day Slaughter, Cleveland cops searching for alleged killer who broadcast murder on Facebook. Of all, and you're going to do it on Facebook Live. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my God. Please, oh my God, Lord, please, oh my, I, I, I usually don't wish death on people, but God, oh my goodness, please get this, this, please get this man, oh, oh, give him lethal injection, five times, five times over, please, this man needs to, oh my goodness, put him underneath, under, listen, Oh my goodness! I got I got to read the story. This thing is it's gonna have give me an aneurysm. Seriously, this man posted this stuff on Facebook Live. Oh my goodness! Oh, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. Cleveland cops on Sunday were hunting a suspect who they believe shot and killed another elderly man in a horrifying Easter afternoon attack that was brazenly broadcast live on Facebook. Investigators say Steve Steffens murdered 
74 year old Robert Goodwin Sr. at around 2 p.m. local time. We know who he is and he will eventually be caught. Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson told a news conference late Sunday. Video of the killing captioned uh, Easter's Day Slaughter was posted Sunday afternoon for about three hours before taking before being taken down. But if you look on my Facebook channel right now, if you look on my Facebook page, you can see the video yourself because I guess it was shared or whatever. I got it. I shared it from somebody else. I was trying to try to post it myself, but I had to share it. So you can look at the video yourself on my page, um, Rashawn Bear Williams. You can see it's it's very extremely graphic. He shoots the guy in the head. He shoots him point blank in the head. You can look at it on my Facebook page. Uh, Stefan said he snapped over a woman. Over a woman. This is hor uh, horrific crime, and we do not allow this kind of content on Facebook. A spokesperson for the social media giant said in a statement, we work hard to keep a safe environment on Facebook and are in touch with law enforcement and emergencies when there are uh, direct threats to physical safety. Stephens uh, later posted another video of himself taking, talking on the phone about at least th uh, 13 other murders he claimed to have committed. I am about to keep uh, killing until they catch me. Despite the suspect's claims, Cleveland Police Chief Calvin Williams said that Stephens has not been connected to any of the murders apart from Sunday's shooting in the Glenville neighborhood east of downtown. We need Steve to turn himself in, said Williams, who told reporters that investigators have sift, sifted through hundreds of leads since the murder. We need to bring this to a conclusion today. Fox 8 reported that Stephens is believed to be driving a white Ford Fusion with temporary tags. He is described as standing six feet, one inch tall, and weighing 244 pounds. Police says Stephen should be considered armed and dangerous. A spokeswoman for uh, Beachbrook, a ch uh, children's mental health facility in Cleveland, confirmed that Stephen was a, a caseworker there, but had no further detail, the details. He was a caseworker, wow. In a mental health facility, he was a caseworker. Wow. Wow. The FBI's Cleveland Field Office said it was assisting Cleveland, uh, Cle Cle ah, Cleveland Police in the investigating it as one of the Ohio Borough of a uh, Criminal Investigation. Cle uh, Cleveland State University posted a message on its Twitter account urging people to shelter in a place or stay away from the area. Sunday was not the first time Facebook Live has been used to broadcast violence or death. I never seen any videos, but that's what they're saying. Okay. In January, four people in Chicago were arrested after allegedly beat and taunted a mentally disabled man live on a social media site. Then, in March, a 15-year-old Chicago girl was apparently sexually assaulted by five or six men or boys on Facebook Live. And none of the roughly 40 people who watched the live video reported to attack the uh, reported the attack to police. Authorities said, "This is you know what? Let me tell you something here. I use Facebook Live for when I go to church and uh, I go to my services and things like that. That's what I'm mostly using on. If you look down my you know, if you looked on my page and you see all that, you see that for the past three weeks I've been doing that. Facebook Live, I've been just going to church. Sir. These are people out here that are using Facebook Live to commit murder. <coughs> Beatings and stuff like that. 
What next is going to be rape? This this needs to stop. Otherwise, then there's going to be no more Facebook Live. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to do things the, the way it was before Facebook Live is basically, um, you know, if you post up a video, they, they, you know, the Facebook people look at it and then approve it and then it's posted on your, what's the name? Facebook Live, you, could be, you basically go in there right away. You know what I'm saying? There's no approval or none of that. You know what I'm saying? And this is what's going to happen if stuff like this keep going on. They're going to take Facebook Live away. This guy needs to be caught. He is a piece of shit. If you want to look at the video, like I said before, it's extremely graphic. But if you want to look at the video, you can do it on my Facebook page. Um, but it's extremely graphic. The guy shoots the... Uh, Shoots the 74-year-old point uh, blank <coughs> right in the head. Right in the head. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all, for all the coughing. Uh, right in the head. He shoots him point blank right in the head. But if you want to look at the video, like I said, view at your own risk. It's extremely graphic. But this guy needs to be caught. You're a piece of shit. And I hope you burn in fucking hell.